All right, everyone. Final round of the Cabin Tour Championship and at my favourite course ever, Hornsey. Strap yourselves in. 306 yard par four to start. Ripping driver, set the tone, positive energy. Yeah, man. Tiny bit left, but I'll take it. It was a nice ball flight, if nothing else. Okay, decent drive, a bit left, but perfectly fine. Don't know how obvious it is, but it's quite windy. Back into my face here. Got a 70 yard shot or so. Let's give ourselves a birdie putt. Great line. Go. Okay, good start, happy with that. Come on, big day today. All right, I've dispensed with conventional and gone for the claw grip. See how that works out. Felt good on the practice screen at least. This for birdie. Tiny bit quicker than I thought. Solid start, I'm gaining on Paul already. <laughs> Solid start, feeling good. Second hole, another fairly short par four. Wind left to right. Straight away, very slopey green, we'll worry about that later. Just hit a good one up the left centre. That's exactly what I was aiming for. Feeling good, Paul's looking nervous. Four back. Hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It'd really help me out. We're on the way to a thousand subs. I want to know in the comments if you think I can turn around this four shot deficit. Paul's in a bit of trouble already on the second as well. I just need to land this chip maybe just on the green. Don't really want to go beyond the flag here. Go. Oh, not a million miles off a two, but got a birdie putt. Beautiful stuff. Not much in this. Lovely start. Don't want to be complacent here at all. Par five, big dog leg right. Have to hit driver as close to these trees as I dare, really. Probably can't reach the ones beyond, though. Don't say it. No, oh, too late. Further right than I wanted, but I suspect that's quite good actually. Bit of a nervous look at that one. And although I've cut the corner way more than I was expecting, it's turned out so well here. So let's try and get on in two on this par five. Hybrid in hand. Anything on the green here is a good shot. Straight into the wind. 208. Tiny bit of a pull, get away from the bunker at least. That shouldn't be too bad. Maybe pin high, just left of the green. Up and down for two under maybe? I was right, I am pin high, just a little left. I've short-sided myself a tad. But my chipping was really good at the par three course this morning, which is not very helpful, but just try and land this on the front edge. I thought that might happen, go. That's disappointing, not to worry. Just dribble it home, maybe. Paul moved my ball, not me. Okay, very demanding par four here. 388 from here, probably playing 430 into the wind. So I'm forced to hit driver, which is fine. it. Yep. 
kind of what I was hoping for without that, oh, sorry please, without that much height. Right then, semi rough. Not too bad in the end, but I've still got 175 but playing more like 190, but trying to run a six iron through the shoot at the front of the green. Five is not the worst score here. Hit it wind. Oh my god, I got over the bunker. That was not what I tried to do, but I'll take it all day long. Well, I'm not quite on the green, but to be putting after two shots on this hole is very good indeed, I think. If I can two put this as well and walk off with a four, I'll be in dreamland. Sit, sit, sit. Whoops. Ooh, hello. The claw is the way forward. <laughs> What a par. Okey cokey. Superb par save on the last. Claw working treat. Another fairly short par four, but horrid wind and OB right, so it's just a four iron. Can't reach those bunkers. Oh. Wish I could just put that in the bank and hit it on every hole, please. That was a really nice four iron, but annoyingly left me in between clubs. Don't think I can get there with sand wedge, so I'm just going to chip a gap wedge. Try and hit a 92 yard shot. Yep, happy with that. Was expecting the wind to push it a tiny bit, but I'm not going to complain because we're putting for birdie again. I'm feeling good with the claw. That was really weird, sorry about that. Quite a bit of left to right in a short space. Wow. When's Q school? Playing very nicely so far, but we are now on probably one of the hardest holes I've ever played. I can't even see the fairway on the right. I'm aiming at that man cutting the grass and trying to fade one back. It's a tiny bit right of where I wanted, but I think it's okay. This is very dangerous, but it is YouTube, gotta go for it. Punching a four iron, need to keep it under the branches, but over the bunker. So I'm aiming at there's a flag in the distance, which isn't the right one. I'm trying to fade it back. That was so close to being unbelievable. But it's good. I'm very happy. It just clipped one of the rivets there. Good layup in the end. Very tricky green here, so I just want to get this on the right level. I'm trying to land it about a yard on the green. Come back down. Oh no. Genuinely thought that was quite good when I hit it, but now it is very bad. Send help, please. If I can keep this on the green or on the right level, it would be a win. Don't stay there for love of God. <laughs> I don't know how I've managed to do that. Oh, quite impressive to leave that there. That was close. Damn it. Six in the end. Ouchies. Right, we're brushing off what just happened. It does happen. It didn't really do a lot wrong. Anyway, dispense with the jumper, that was the issue. Got a little 7 iron, it's 158 but into the draft, everyone else has come up short, so I don't want to do the same. Penis. Um, pulled it. Don't know where that's ended up, but it's not great. Right, we need to go and find some magic again from somewhere, which we will. Right, well, I asked for some magic. 
good job I'm in Narnia. If I can keep this from going in that bunker, then that would be really good. I'm aiming in between them with a 9-iron because I can't go high. Nope. Nearly. Wasn't a million miles off. Fortunately, this is relatively straightforward from here, but I wouldn't mind an up and down. Get tight, please. Right. I'm hoping that next to the definition of good bogey in the golfing dictionary, there'll be this as an example. Whoa. <sighs> Bit nervous over that. I'll take it. Right then, par five. Although you might see steel in the hand rather than lumber. I'm too frightened of the gorse bushes, I'm afraid. So I'm following Paul down the right centre, hopefully with a draw on the wind. That'll do nicely. If I'd have hit driver on that line, that would have been good, but no trust in it whatsoever. Yeah, I'll take that. That was a good four iron, got a long way in. I'm not sure the hybrid will get there, but strike it clean and go and hit it again from wherever it lands. That's nicely struck. It's going to be left of the green. We'll have to invent something from there, but it looks okay. Rather short-sided myself, but thankfully the green grass here is with me a tiny bit. <sighs> Fucking hell. Sorry about my language. That was poor again. I've done the same thing as I did earlier. Just need to stop going through these dodgy spells, as easy as that sounds. Not a great deal of sand there. Imagine that had a slam dunk though, that would have been cool. Don't know whether I deserve this to go in or not, to be honest. And we're not in for six. Mm, not sure what to make of that bogey. <laughs> Need to get back on the par train. Right, last hole of the front nine, 396 yard par four, wind into off the left, which is nobody's favourite unless you're left handed. Just got to take this up the left and let the wind just peel it back. Cut. I've hit that too well. Oh, actually, okay. I've got away with it. That was actually quite good in the end. It's going to be an interesting shot into the green, mind you. But we'll take it. Tee shot turned out better than I thought. I actually thought the green was further left than it is. So I've got a shot. Got a 9-iron nine in hand. Sat down in the rough, so I'm just digging it out towards the goal. That's worked out nicely if it's the right club. Yeah, it's a good shot. A bit short. I'm okay with it. Should be putting, which at some point has become a strength of mine now. Right, well I said putting was my strength and this is a big test. It's straight up the hill, 60 or so feet from the fringe. Sit, sit. God nab. Another tiddler for par. That's some par. Hope you guys have enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.